Well, there are 7.7 billion people here in this world, and there's a movement right here in Springfield that is aiming to reach every single one of them. Randy Bacon is with Hi. 7 Billion Ones. Thanks for being here. It's uh, very good to be here. Thank you. So tell me about this movement. There's 7 billion people, yep. and you want to reach every one of them. In theory, yes. Uh, I know it's, it's, a, it's a very large mission for uh, us to accomplish, but that is our mission. And so, you know, we didn't name it uh, 5 million ones for stories in Missouri or 350 million ones for stories in the United States. We really do want to uh, come across with this very simple premise, and that is, you know, there's a lot of people in this world, but we need to focus on the ones, and that is every single one is important, and everybody has a story that there's a power in that story that needs to be shared. It connects people. And that's the main reason to share your story, right? Yes, yeah. You know, it's such a simple premise about uh, uh, very just personal uh, portraits and, and very personal raw stories and, and how they not only connect people, but yet there's a healing in the process and there's an empowerment that comes from it. And uh, uh, as simple as that is, it works. And so how are you doing this, through photography, and where does that go? Yeah, I, I've been uh, photographing people now for over 30 years, and it's, uh, you know, I like to say I've been doing this that long, but mm -hmm. yeah, I still feel like that kid when I first started, because I'm so passionate about this idea of people, mm -hmm. and that every single one is unique. Every single one is a one-of-a-kind creation that's never been created before. That's the power of my art. And so we use the visual element to hopefully try to grab people mm -hmm. uh, because it's such a fast-paced world. I, I try to present a visual that will stop people and then they'll take the time to start reading the story a little bit. And then from there, if they'll take the time with it, that's when you know things happen. So when you say this connects people, obviously, mm -hmm. you know, stories are read, they're shared. I imagine that someone going through a similar situation feels like they're not alone after that. Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, you know, with the stories, uh, it, the stories are not focused on like a certain topic. Uh, we want them to be as wide as absolutely possible. But what we do find is when an individual shares a story, there's so many other people that's in the world that did feel alone. And that by knowing they're not doing their journey, they're not the only one doing that journey, they're not alone, that helps. Again, that creates healing, it creates empowerment and, and connection. Sense of empowerment. That's a good way to phrase it as well. So how are you accomplishing mm -hmm. this vision? Because you're not just in Springfield no. telling these stories. No, no. You know, really, the, the whole 7 billion ones is just a natural evolution of my career where I started out, you know, photographing people, and I still am to this very day. But as I, as I got deeper into, you know, photographing uh, people all walks of life, I found out more and more that there's a power in what I do. And so I started traveling the world. I uh, traveled to probably about 20 different countries, various stories from various parts of the world. It hit me about four or five years ago, and that is, you know, this world is a big place, but really it's not. Mm -hmm. I mean, we're really, as that 7.7 .7 billion, we're all kind of the same but yet we get lost in the bigness. And, and so that then became the seed that launched this, this thing where it's like something more needs to be done. And so, so with all my travels, uh, with the launch of this movement, uh, it continues to grow. The reach gets bigger and bigger. It's very typical when we post a story, we get comments uh, from around the country, around the world. And, and now what's very exciting is I have a multitude of other nonprofits and humanitarian groups that's reaching out, wanting to partner with us to help share their stories of their, the special people that they serve. And I can imagine, too, with um, just the talk about mental health in our country mm -hmm. right now, that mm -hmm. sharing these stories probably does have a sense of healing with it. So it does. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Um, I ne I'll never forget, actually, one of the, uh, the individuals I photographed for uh, the Suicide Awareness Project, which it's called It Knows No Face, uh, which reflects the idea that suicide covers all demographics. Mm -hmm. But after I got done with one of the, uh, the photo shoots, the, the lady uh, uh, relayed this to her, her uh, psychologist, and she said the process of sharing her story and being photographed and being included 
in uh, the 7 billion wands did more for healing than the previous therapy that she'd received through that. a therapist. Mm -hmm. And so again, it's something really simple and we don't think too much about it, but there's this power in it that just still to this very day, it, it, it keeps me going. And how can people find out more information? What's your website? Uh, it's www.7billionones.org. And uh, there you'll find all types of stories, find information about uh, us as a nonprofit profit and as a movement. And, okay. and we do like to call it a movement. It's not a project. Mm -hmm. This thing's going to move and move and move and, and go on even beyond me. All right. And this is Randy Bacon with 7 Million Ones, the founder. Thank you so much for being here. Oh, it's been a pleasure. We'll be right back. Thank you.